some cool cars the note had to step stop there at some point uh anyway so we are here in schuylkill haven pennsylvania in schuylkill county uh pennsylvania i decided to come up here because i saw a video i was looking up for history for minersville rail station and for uh tamaqua rail station and i came across a channel i think it's called history is a blast and uh pretty cool uh he was here at schuylkill haven rail station he also is at minersville rail station which is how i came across it and uh decided to come up here it's like almost 80 degrees today really really pretty day and uh decided after work i'm gonna come drive up here i'm feeling up to it and glad i did uh just filmed at the uh schuylkill haven rail station it's a really unique pretty station a little different than uh normally you see the ones with like brick or something like that um this one's more of a, a white stone or a gray stone uh, but actually a stone stone uh, so it's a little bit of a different looking rail station so i got to put together the history on it and all that and, uh, this is a pretty cool uh pretty cool day pretty cool trip uh, decided i'm gonna do a country road to take me home from schuylkill haven here to pine grove just because it'll make for a cool video we did i think at one point did one out to Friedensburg. And that was more by accident than anything. Really pretty church steeple over there. But we are going to come back here to Schuylkill Haven because I think there's a lot more to see. Much like Port Carbon we were just in the other day. I did some photography. I want to go back to film some of these really neat churches. Plus there's a really cool thing up on the hill. It looks like a Civil War memorial with a big American flag up there. But uh, I think I figured out how to get up there now via the Google Maps and Google Earth. But I couldn't figure it out on the day because I had gone up to Tamaqua. Uh, so the Tamaqua Rail Station will come out. That video will come out before the uh, Schuylkill Haven Rail Station. But it's really neat to see these beautiful rail stations that have been restored, refurbished. And it brings back a day of yesteryear it's just really neat to come back and see some of these places but uh we are on 443 west heading towards uh pine grove we also i believe at some point this becomes 183 the whole way into pine grove i believe uh for those of you like jay that keep track and, and follow along where we are but we're going to go through a number of different really cool towns like Friedensburg to Turksville and then eventually get to Pine Grove but uh figured this is a good time to do a little bit of a vlog uh talk to you guys but do it as country roads take us home style have some fun out in the pretty country it's just a really pretty time of day too we're here almost seven o'clock so the sun's starting to set and you get these pretty hues and views of the day but uh anyways we had a lot of cool filming experiences over the last couple weeks we just did the first of the reintroduction of the villages of cornwall so at some point here in the next couple weeks we'll start doing some of these different villages do a walk through do some history get to see some pictures from back in the day and a lot of these towns like Bird Coleman and those, they each had their own uh, iron furnace. And uh, it'll be cool to see the pictures of those and just what they were doing and maybe some other pictures of the miners from back then as well. Uh, we also, at one of these points, here's there it goes. Maybe it is only the 183 is just either going left or right here and it actually isn't on this road at all. I believe that is probably the case is that a green light yes indeed it is uh but i think this 183 if you want to go up to uh pottsville go north you can actually i'll take you up to pottsville i believe uh because i was thinking about for a second do i want to go up to port carbon maybe do some more photography do i want to see if i can get up top there and i'm just a little off right now because i think i finally reached the stage where the antibiotics 
are making me very unhappy and not my not my body's rejecting them it just after a while it sort of takes out the good bacteria so I got to get a stronger probiotic to try to get my good bacteria back up because my tummy ain't very happy right now and I'm just sort of it's one of those things where I'm trying to be careful with the trips I take because huh, I need to be near a bathroom just in case because I'm not trying to be crass. It's just sort of the unfortunate reality is things go haywire and if you're not near a bathroom, you're going to be unhappy. And other people that are going to be around you are going to be unhappy too because hmm, various reasons. But anyways, um, we got a couple trips, I think, that we'll wind up potentially doing and actually a couple different people that may be going on trips with me. Uh, Ralph and I here at some point will start going out on trips again. Um, also, my friend Bob and I will probably be going on certain trips because I'm probably going to have off most weekends now, uh, which I'm all right with. It actually makes me pretty happy because then I can go out for two days and go a little bit further and wider and go and enjoy myself. My sister and I also talked about um, doing something like that. I believe probably um, we're going to be going out of state too because I definitely, May 19th I believe it is, I have to make a trip to Wilmington, Delaware. I'm going to be doing a delivery for the business I work for, the Event Collective, and uh, I believe this is the Turksville, I believe, or no, no, I'm sorry, this is Freedensburg. We're in Freedensburg now. We had come this far on the one video, and I just didn't know how close to Schuylkill Haven I was, because I don't think I've ever been there before, because it, there's actually some pretty cool, they have a heritage trail, where they show pictures of what used to be at certain places, or what certain buildings used to be. I think that's something that would be a fun little video to go around and look at some of those things and talk about the history of Schuylkill Haven. So we will definitely be returning, probably doing it in several parts because I got to look at where they actually all are because I don't think I want to be walking the entire town. But just go from place to place, hit a couple signs because there were two of them right there at the post office, which is at the uh, rail station as well. So I would not mind going and uh, checking that out with you guys. Learn a bunch of history of cool things. It's funny that they had the, the motto of the town is the little town that could. So it's like a little train or a little, little locomotive that could. But uh, a lot of history in this area. We actually weren't that far away I think from Berks County because they were talking about Orwigsburg was another seven miles I think beyond uh, Schuylkill Haven. And I think Orwigsburg is in Berks County. Like so that's a town I'd like to visit at some point. I believe, I believe it's Colleen had sent me the thing from Orwigsburg. And uh, we had done a, a viewer submitted video on that. They have a, sorry about that. Caught the phone with my thumb, switching hands. Um, but uh, they have a memorial there that we did. We talked about both of them. One of them was a drummer for Washington, and then they had a variance of the story of Regina Leininger, and they actually gave, I think Regina Hartman was the name. So those stories sometimes, they're way too similar to not be the same, but the Leiningers were the actual family, not the Hartmans, I don't believe. So there's probably another family had something happen, a tragedy there, the Hartman family, but it was not, they sort of mixed those two stories up. And it may even be, you know, you have sort of the local legends. Sometimes they sort of mix with other things because they make for a good story and then they stick at some point. But uh, it would be, it'd be nice to go up to Orwigsburg at some point, go a little further and just visiting all these different towns that we haven't been to before and it's just cool being able to go together and, and see all these neat places but we're going to be making quite a few more trips Delaware New Jersey we might even make a trip out to Cape May when we make the trip out to Wilmington because uh, there's a really neat lighthouse there so I'd love to take you guys up and view that uh, maybe do a series on lighthouses because I, I love lighthouses 
My sister loves lighthouses. Her friend, uh, best friend Karen, is a huge fan of lighthouses. Who isn't? Uh, they're just really neat engineering structures. But uh, so we'll be doing that kind of stuff. Uh, I gotta be making a trip back to Coleman's Park here at some point to reintroduce that series. Uh, the Coleman's and their mansions of Mount Lebanon. So it's sort of going to start it over and the series will be more of a precursor to uh, uh, the eventual documentary series on the Coleman's triumph, their triumphs and tragedy. Uh, and we'll be involving quite a few different other local historians and be made Ken Burns style documentary, very scripted and done in that way. I'm excited for when that happens. We'll do the Milton Hershey one first sort of as our practice run because it's a big undertaking uh, and that will be done with the new camera or even I'll get myself even another camera just slightly better or whatever but uh, I believe this is the Turksville coming up and you could have made a left there and that'll take you down to Rock. I believe that's the way we took the one time and it takes you in the back way to the Rock Covered Bridge that little town of rock and then the Zimmerman cover bridge is right down the road but uh so yeah we're doing well I just have to pace myself with what I do and not push myself too far but this was this was fun I'll be tired but I am tired but this was this was cool cool little trip not that far it only took like 40 minutes from home uh out here so really you know so much of this stuff is within an hour or two that you can go to and, and just enjoy do a late afternoon trip to go visit something that you haven't seen before and today we got to go see that Schuylkill Haven rail station uh, which you'll see on a later video this will be the one that comes out before any of them just because it's been a little while since we did a, a true country roads take me home if you want to call it that. Uh, one thing, a note that I will I will say, um, ask for prayers. My mom's health has gotten quite a bit worse. Uh, she's now in hospice care. Uh, she's not actively in a state of dying, but her dementia has gotten much worse. And it's gotten to the stage where they have to sort of put her on some morphine because she gets what's called, it's called sundowners basically the sun goes down they sort of get very very confused uh, a lot of different issues come up from it because neurologically you're starting to have breakdown she's twitching quite a bit more and things like that so it sort of calms her and because I had been with her and one day she was under quite a bit of duress and they changed up how they're doing the medicine so it sort of keeps that from happening because as much as I don't like to see my mom sort of out of it because of being on morphine I would rather that she's comfortable and not scared because she was terrified just pleading for help and you weren't sure whether she was actually in pain or not or what was going on and quite frankly you're not going to get an answer out of her at that stage and there's really little you can do to calm her down so it's just sort of where we're at what the timeline is only god knows and uh but i'd appreciate your prayers that she just she wouldn't be scared and she'd be calm as they can be and whatever time we have left with her we can enjoy it's sort of like one of the sad things whether it's the medication or it's the dementia getting worse she started to have times where she isn't recognizing us well Cause she sort of looked at me a little weird there's a guy one of the nurses was feeding her he's like oh do you want to take over i was like yeah i'll take over she just sort of looked at me like i was some kind of weirdo which is probably a good assessment but it sort of makes you sad because it's like i was like do you not recognize me it's like oh oh yeah you know i do because she realizes most likely she's supposed to so with people with dementia you sort of you have to break it to them slowly and sort of like you know you're a good mommy and you know I'm your only handsome son. I'm her only son. But, uh, and then she started to realize who I was and then was just sort of smiling at me and just so happy to see me. 
and that's something that I'll treasure for the rest of my life but it's still at the same time it's very sad because she's still who she was but yet in a way is not and it hurts you know dementia is sort of that slow losing of someone and you know it's going to be a hard thing losing my mom, but I know she'll be in a better place, but it's just sort of just prayers for us and how we handle it. Cause it's just, it's hard. And anytime you deal with something like this and you know, I faced it with my dad, my sister, it, this is a new experience for her. And I'm really going to have to be there for her through this. Cause this is going to be rough. Um, I just hope for my mom's sake, however it goes, it's relatively quick and not a long, drawn-out, painful process for her where she's scared and it's like that. And I don't want her so doped up that she doesn't know who she is. There's an old schoolhouse and then an old church. We're coming up to Pine Grove now. Um, but once again, just the prayers. Prayers for us and how you know, we approach this. It's a harsh thing. It's hard, but, you know, we're handling it well. It's just, you get tired, um, and you're very, very sad about everything, but, you know, you want to make this as comfortable of an experience for her coming up to however long she has left. Um, and then prayers also just for mom that, you know, with everything that's happening, she just sort of is able to handle this the best possible way um, and go from there but uh, anywho so we are uh, almost in Pine Grove now well we are in Pine Grove Just crossing the Swatera Creek here this is Pottsville Road is well is known as well a lot of history with Pine Grove my family my dad's side of the family is from here and ravine always love this town um, but uh, as always, I want to say thank you to everybody for coming along. Uh, another adventure, another Country Roads Take Me Home. And uh, we're going to have a lot of great other content coming up here over the next couple days. We're, uh, we visited Schaeferstown quite a while ago, but I'm finally getting some of the pictures and everything together, getting it edited, and uh, take you guys along on that journey uh, and show you some of the old pictures of some of the homes and businesses and then talk about what what they were back in the day uh, as we go past them and uh, go from there but uh as always i want to say thank you everybody and uh i'll wait till this guy turns because i don't want to end on this note where we're sort of looking at the house to the left it's sort of funky we'll go down the main street here topahawkin street named after topahawkin creek and probably the Topahawken Path, more likely. But uh, this is a beautiful little town of Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, here in Schuylkill County. And uh, But I, I want to say thanks, as always, everybody. Thank you for the support that you've given. You guys have been absolutely amazing. And it, it certainly very much helps get through these types of circumstances. And uh, this channel has truly been a blessing. Uh, in so many ways just because I love doing this I love hanging with you guys I love learning about history with you and just experiencing our hometown history so as always I want to say thank you and uh, we will uh, see you all about town